Hello and welcome to the Premier League Giants show. My name is Dennis, aka the Ruthless Gunner, and I'm joined here today with the co-owner of this channel, Oms. How you doing, bro? Yeah, all right. I'm dead inside now, but I've accepted our fate. We're fucking shit, but you know, life goes on, bro. Life goes on. How you doing? Yeah, not too bad, man. You know, pretty shit weather here in Sydney today. You know, the rain fuck, was on and off. Standard. Got soaked. And, you know, when you're driving a truck out in Sydney in the rain, <sighs> it's not fun at all. But, um, yeah, overall, I'm pretty good, man. You know, Arsenal got the win over Leeds. We climbed the ladder from 12th to 10th. So, life's good, man. Life's good. Yeah. You fuck. <laughs> you guys, are, you guys are starting to slowly figure out how to climb a ladder, and we're slowly figuring yeah. out how to climb down a ladder. Fucking dumb cunts, <laughs> bro, bro. But yeah, guys. Um, before we get started, if you can just give the video a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new as well. I will be putting this out on the Ruthless Guna TV channel as well. So. Please subscribe to Top Bins Football. Would we'll really appreciate it. And yeah, in saying that, we'll get into the Leicester City and Liverpool game, which finished three one to Leicester City. Now, Liverpool looked pretty good early on. You know, Salah got the goal, but it was just that last ten minutes of the game where you guys capitulated and. Allison again making a really bad mistake. Ozan Kabak, the Turkish pumpkin, got found out at the back for the Leicester City's third goal. And yeah, man, the signs aren't looking good for Liverpool. What are your thoughts, bro? My thoughts, bro, it's just, it's, my thoughts have been the same for the last two fucking months. It's fucking depressing, man. Honestly, it's fucking depressing. Like, it's the same shit. We didn't play bad. First half, like, I honestly, I just watched the first half, bro. Like, watch the first half. I'm like, these dickheads aren't going to do shit. I fucking turned it off. And then I woke up. It was 3 1. I was like, there you fucking go. I was right. But you got all that attack. Dude, we, we, sh we shat on Lister. I know the fucking score doesn't thing it, but. First half, we could have, dude, it's just not fucking good enough, man. Like, I, I don't know what else to say. It's, I'm just saying the same shit fucking week in, week out. I'm, I'm on some over it, man. Look at that 12 corners, bro. 12 corners. 62% fuck position. Fuck me, dude. Like, yeah. But, like, you know, with the way Leicester City play, they're a counter attacking side and they're very good at it. Uh, you know, Jamie Vardy actually had a very good chance. I think it was in the first half. He hit the crossbar. But, yeah. you know, in saying that, Liverpool had a couple of good chances as well. You know, it's not like you guys got dominated or, you know, outplayed. It was just that last 10 minutes of the game, that lapse in concentration, that free kick that maybe shouldn't have been a free kick and that controversial goal. looks like after that, I don't know how you that... guys just dropped your heads. I don't and... know how the fuck that was a goal, bro. Like how? Like, does does he have? Is his dick that big that it that counted his fucking dick as offside? That like he kept him on? Fuck me! <laughs> it's a fucking joke, bro. Like, fuck I know. Like I'm. So I'm explain, explain, to, explain to me exactly what happened, man. Explain to me exactly what happened there. Oh no, I'm just gonna watch it as I as I toy it because this yeah. Is, Oh, no. We can't show it on the screen because uh, the video will get taken off, down. But... It doesn't show anyway. Yeah. No, nah, so, you know, this VAR, man, you know, at that stage, all right, it would have been one all, but it's just the way you guys capitulated after that goal, man. It That's what's concerning about your team this season, that yeah. after one little thing, they just drop their heads and Leicester City, oh, you know, like, pushed on and... Uh, <laughs> yeah, bro, this is what's happening here. Yeah. So they called it offside, right? 
But then they oh, said that the Leicester this, City player didn't touch it, yeah? Is that what happened? They said they didn't touch it, so it's a goal? Or... This is from Vardy's free, free kick. What? So explain what's going on now, man, for the He's viewers. He's taking it in. He's taking it in. He's kicked it in, Madison. Yeah. And the, the Leicester City if... players were offside when he took the kick, yeah? Well, they're called offside. That's what it looks like. It, it looks like the Leicester City players yeah, were right. offside as he as he took the kick. But because he didn't but play the ball. Offside. Well, he did. He did. And the Maris, he, he, he took a single swing at it. Yeah, he took a swing at it. Didn't didn't it's touch the ball. It, it doesn't should matter. Be. They've changed it the rule now. So what? Uh, it's yeah. They're Wait, saying they're that he at, didn't even beat the keeper. At, or whose foot is that? That's a load of shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's a yeah, fucking this, load this, of shit. Honestly, man, it, from there, That's it's offside. Of it shit, just bro. looks offside. You don't need to look at any feet or anything. The Leicester City players are clearly in front of the Liverpool players there as Madison took the free kick. And again, incompetent referees or, you know, like I say, it's rigged. But um, what happens after that is just calamitous defending. No communication between Allison and Kabak. That's out. Al- and no, that's, that's Alison. not Kabak's fault. fault. That's not Kabak's fault. fault. Because that's Allison's fault. Dickhead. Hundred percent. Man, Kabak had his eye on the ball the whole time. If your keeper's running out, he's got to scream that he's coming out for the ball. Like it's, I'm a defender, man. If my keeper did that to me, I'll be blowing up hard. I'll be telling him off, man. Like if you're coming out, you have to tell. The defenders you're coming so you know you can get you can move out of the way but you know look after today's results you guys are sitting in sixth position now you guys are only six points away from us man and we've had a horrid season terrible season so can you see you guys turning this around or no. are you guys going to no. fall even deeper down the table like in all honesty, what do you think? I don't know, man. I can't see it. We might win a few games, but we won't turn it around. Top four, bro. That's it's it's wearing thin and fast, bro. I don't. I got nothing to say about this club. It's team no more. Like the front three. All right, guys. Then I guess we'll wrap the this podcast three. up. They're just fucking stupid, bro. I can't. I it seems just, like Salah know. is just um, Salah's just carrying you guys at the moment, like the front three. No one else is scoring besides him. But Firmino's um, gone. He's been non-existent since last year. He's played like I know he said he's away. He set up a couple of goals, but he's done fuck all after, since throughout the whole season anyway. Mane's yeah. gone missing lately. He's been he's been a sound out before that, out of the three. But yeah, Salah's he got play. I remember he got award player of the month. I'm like, bro, who, no dickhead now. Teams do player of the month, bro. <laughs> when was this? A couple of months ago. When, or... No, like a few weeks ago. This is mm. when we couldn't even score. <laughs> and well, he got like, player um, of the month. For Liverpool yeah. or for the Premier League? No, no, come on, bro. Don't be, don't be that modest. <laughs> for Liverpool, because no, I don't know, I don't know. For Liverpool, yeah. Oh, trust me. If it was for, if it was for EPL, trust me, you would not hear the end of it in our group. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, like, how could you? How could he get it? Yeah, like, no, not for Liverpool. Bias as fuck, but no, not for Liverpool. Man, <sighs> let's talk a bit about Thiago, bro. Like. I'm looking bro, at him. I'm gonna stop. I'm you hearing there. good. Th- I'm hearing just. I'm hearing good things from you. Let me finish. I'm hearing. Bro, good worry things about from your you, flops but... before you start on Thiago. Fuck, we did, bro. All he's, you guys honestly, start flapping your gums. All you guys start to flap he... your gums. Bro, what does he do? Me... What does he do? Let me talk. Let me talk. What does he do, bro? <laughs> honestly, bro, he's you're gonna, you're gonna doing say the nothing, same thing bro. Every other hero has that. Bro, one of the, one of the guys from work. <sighs> bro, even even my mate, even Fadi. 
He's like, oh, Thiago, where's Thiago? He started flapping his gums about Thiago. Bro, the, when he first came in, he had the most touches. Everyone was, bro, no one batted, no one else did nothing. And we're playing all right then. And because we're on the, because we're on a fucking down slump, everyone's fucking blaming Thiago because he was thing. Everyone's like, oh, Thiago this and Thiago that because we're on a slump. But what can this guy do with these dickheads in front of him? And he's got no one behind him. What can he possibly do? Tell me. He's a Spanish old man, bro. Just the whole, the whole passing sideways, fl- sideways, doing shot. Like he's honestly, bro, time, For his caliber, he's not performing, man. He should be playing way better than he is at the moment. Like bro, from you're, you're, bro, what you're he only was as good to as what the he's players doing around now. You. You're only as good as yeah. the players playing around you at the moment. And at the moment, we're playing fucking dumb. If the whole t- yeah. bro, how did he come? If had he, had he had come last season, bro, none of you would be saying, oh, Tiago, Tiago, Tiago. But because we're on, Look, a, because we're on a slump, er, everyone, everyone's, everyone's like, oh, what's going on, Tiago? Everyone's having a laugh about Tiago. Fuck off. <laughs> if, the, if, our, if our team fucking, bro, it irritates me. I get it, bro. I get that, it. I know that, you like what, the guy. What, he's a good signing, but he's... Bro, Honestly, what, there could be why some, is everyone just blaming him? Right. Why is everyone sticking after him? Everyone's just pinpointing Tiago. He's, because he's not doing anything and he's one of your big signings. No one's doing you anything, talk, bro. No one's doing anything. He can't do much. If, if no one else is doing anything. What do you mean? You guys talked him up, bro. The guy's one of the best oh, midfielders in the game. Tiago. Tiago. But is, like, is the win percentage the with him is like... It's like less than 10% now. It's pretty bad. But look, in saying that, um, you could say the midfield's disrupted for you guys. You haven't got Hendo and disrupt. Fabinho in there. So maybe with them two in there, that he might be performing better because it might actually give him a license to uh, push up more. Instead of doing a lot of defensive work, he can kind of you know unlock the, the other team's defense. So maybe that is a factor because he's, ne- like, he's playing next to bloody um, Curtis Jones and uh, what's his name? Like, honestly, Milner. What's with Jones? What's so, with Jones? Milner's old. Like, I yeah. love Milner, but bro, yeah. he's fucking. But the guy's got to think about retiring soon. Like I love the guy. Don't get me wrong. He's got to yeah, go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jones, but like, <laughs> bro, like, I love Jones. He's good, but he's just not there yet. And when you got a thirty-five-year-old and a young kid next to you, what are you gonna do? What can you do? What can you possibly do? How much can you possibly do with what you got mm-hmm. surrounded with what you got surrounding with you? If we had a Fair full, enough. if we had a, but if we had a full team. What I mean, like all the Van Dykes and everything, bro. I'm pre- I've bet my life. I'm writing now. We'll, we wouldn't be having this discussion, and we wouldn't be the way like where we are. But unfortunately, we are where we are, and everyone's flapping their gums about Thiago. It's well, not, it's you, you have to, bro. It's not a because it's a one. It's a. It's not a one man sport, bro. You got eleven players and no fucking shit. I understand, but bro, I understand. He's your big, he's your marquee signing, and he's not performing. So like, we have biggest, to call it out. A, yeah, but right? he's the biggest signing. He's the biggest signing, biggest signing since Suarez. At the time of the signing, actually, even yeah. not even then. Let's just say no. The biggest signing was probably would have been Torres actually, because Torres was more known before Suarez. Mm. During, during the times that, that they came to the club. Well, yeah, man. Like, I don't know. Liverpool fans are talking like he was the next thing, the best thing since sliced bread. But, you know, let's talk about Klopp, man. Like, he's is he setting his team oh, here up we right? Go. Fucking here we go. What's yeah. going yeah. on? Yeah. <laughs> Why does he keep persisting that with Hendo fun. as centre-back? That I don't, that I don't know. But then again, we've got no one. The problem is we've gotten literally no one. You got Kabak, you think got Phillips. The, the, play, play them two at the back, man. And I then you, at least Phillips. you can I have some. I would play Phillips secure... at the back. I would play yeah, Phillips at the back. That's what I'm Push saying. In the midfield. But bro, that's it, man. Because like, I'm sure them two can do a job in there, man. All right, they're gonna make mistakes, but. At least you guys will score some goals, man, if you have your proper midfield. Well, again, everyone's saying the same thing. Why is he fucking putting Henson at the back? Like, you're going to, you have to utilize whatever defense you've got now. 
Look, I don't know how long fucking Fabinho's out for. Fuck me, dead. Hopefully, it's not long. Mm. So what? He picked up another. So, uh, I don't fucking know, bro. All, bro this whole, the whole team's made of fucking glass this year. It's pissing me off, man. Yeah, honestly. But the, honestly, like, man, the thing is with Klopp, he likes to play for a smaller squad, and he uses those players week in, week out, week in, week out. And like it's been three, four years now. You've got pretty much the same team. So these guys get burnt out, bro. And the Premier League is intense. All those competitions they play, yeah, Champions League, FA Cup, well, that's, bro, that's, this, that. That's what happens when you've got no depth. And he doesn't like the squad rotation too much, man. He likes to always keep it the same. So it's a bit of Klopp's fault as well. And FSG at the same time, obviously, for not investing. But Why should they invest, brother? They, they have no money. Don't forget. How could you have no money, bro? You guys won the Champions League. You got hundreds of well, millions of pounds for that. Just, seems like you know, Corona, selling selling yeah. Coutinho and all that shit. Come on, like it's that's not an excuse, bro. Seems like um, you can use Corona for an excuse to be poor. So I don't know. At the end, we can't just we can't do anything now. So we're just gonna have to fucking make a deal with what we've got left. Only positive news that Kata, oh, even can you say Kata's a positive when he comes? Yeah, He's, he hasn't been thinking. He's been injured a lot, so that's been a bit of a dud signing. Um, we're just waiting on thing now to come back, Jota. So <laughs> fucking hell. Mm. I heard Jota's close. He's back to training with the team, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. I, heard I think that they're both like that. They're bo I'm pretty sure they're both mm. like him and Kata. Yeah. So that's a boost for our well, midfield it's good. and attack. It's good, man. Yeah. Fuck off Firmino. Put him back to the bench, Firmino. He's useless. Firmino? He's not doing nothing. Yeah. He's not doing nothing. So. He's got to score goals, man. Like, I understand he sets up and he works hard, but you're a number nine. You've got to score as well. You know, it's... You can't just working hard's not good enough, man. But the that's up to line. you he, guys. He creates... I don't support Liverpool, so I'm happy. Well, it is what it is, unfortunately, at the moment. <laughs> I don't know, bro. We'll see what happens. It's We've good, got a man. game it's tomorrow. Good. Got a game tomorrow. <laughs> that's gonna be fun. So you guys I'm got curious to see the, I'm curious like uh, Leipzig. I'm curious to see the fucking lineup Ooh. for that team for that game. So oh man, you know what? That's a tough one, man. You guys playing at home or away? Does it matter? <laughs> we, we can't well, go, does, we can't go to Germany. To... How? We can't go to Germany. Because the Germany? place might yeah, because England the place in England might kill them, don't forget. Hmm. Because of that, no, yeah. So the deadly new UK variant that's yeah, out, yeah, yeah, spreading very quick. <laughs> Let's not get into that. <laughs> All right, we'll change the subject before you slit your wrist. So we'll talk about the next game, and we'll move over to Arsenal versus Leeds. We'll see if Chris is eventually going to jump on. If not, um, yeah, we'll move over to the United game next. But yeah, Arsenal four leads two. We absolutely Bro. destroyed them, man. We pumped them, and um, they got pretty much two consolation goals. Bro, when you look at the stats, it doesn't, doesn't doesn't look that way. <laughs> the first half, man, it we pretty even. killed them. You know, like stats don't tell the story of the game, even. We could have scored six, seven goals, bro. Like, Abamian got a hat trick. Could have had five goals, bro. I'm telling you. Like, he missed a couple of good chances, hit the post. One, uh, I think it was Ailing. He he did like a last ditch block, which was pretty much a goal, man. And um, yeah, great performance from us. Our front three or front four, if you want to call it. Abamian started up as striker. We had Saka on the right. We had um, Emil Smith Rowe on the left and Martin Odegaard in the middle at playing that that cam role. And my God, man, we looked good. 
We look very fluent in attack. We've got the young guys pressing. Why are you shaking your head, bro? You no, jealous? Oh. No, actually, I'm not. Actually. I'm not. <laughs> because, bro, Lord Bellerin scored. Jesus Christ. He could have scripted this, bro. <laughs> Fucking hell. Fuck. But the worst player bro, scored I... the goal. If Bellerin's scoring against you, bro, you know your team's got a problem. <laughs> Sabayos <laughs> so Sabayos so actually nutted the defender in the box. Bellerin was some for some reason in the box. Hits it near post, scores. Their leads keeper, man, he's a bit dodgy. That Melier or yeah. whatever his name is. He's young. He made a very bad mistake where he had the ball, Saka rushed him, kind of got the ball off him, and then Melier ended up kicking Saka, got a penalty. And maybe two minutes before that, um, Saka, again, he was through. Gets tripped inside the box, bro. Ref gives a penalty. Then VAR tells him to go check it. He goes and checks it. He's clearly tripped. And he overturns the decision, bro. I'm losing bro, my shit. Mate, bro, yeah, bro, it's match fixing 100%. I was losing it, man. I was losing it. But then he gave a penalty like two minutes later again to Saka. So. It doesn't matter. Man, I match think fixing. this Saka, bro... Far out, bro. This kid is unbelievable, Overrated. man. Oh, bro. <laughs> Shut up. Shut your mouth. Honestly, bro, this kid, top five, top five youngsters in Europe, man, for sure, 100%. Like, he's up there, bro, with like top Foden five. and Haaland and all those kids, man. He's up there with them. Bro, if you watch us play... Trust me, Big watch him, bro. man. He's fucking outstanding, this kid, man. He can do everything. Right wing, left back, left wing. He, he can play attacking midfield. He does everything, bro, this kid. So, um, but yeah, going into the game, man, this style, like lead style, it kind of plays into our hands a little bit because... It plays into everyone's hands. You know how... <laughs> Fuck, because bro. they're... But they just, I don't know. Like, everyone just keeps pumping smoke up Leeds' ass. They, give, they are good, but they're, they're stupid. They're such a stupid team. Like, yeah, I know they got injuries at the injuries at the back, but, dude, you can't. Bro, they conceded one and a half goals a lot. Like, other they than do, the week before, concede. they two, Yeah, like, other than, okay, they took the clean sheet surprisingly last week. But then the... They're copying over one and a half goals a game on average. Yeah, so you know I mean? they're like a bit shaky. Like, you, look at their, if you can see on the screen. Look at that, bro. Okay, they beat West Brom 5 0, but they, <laughs> they, cop, they lost 3 0 the week after against the Spuds. So, yeah. Defense is they actually, that's what's loose. They actually played all right in that game. Um, yeah, and then Brighton goes and beats them. But you know what, man? Brighton's a decent team, bro. You've got to put some respect on them. Yeah, look, I'm not saying anything against Brighton. No, bro. All of course not. Brighton, of course man. not. But, but they're just, yeah. They do have qualities, man. Yeah. I'm not saying they don't, but, bro, there's a, obviously, it's not showing them according to the results. Their defending is just abysmal, just like ours, so. That's a team you never ever put a multi on for, man. You don't know what team, what kind of team is going to show up. Like they beat Leicester three one, and then they go lose against Everton, and then they lose <laughs> against bloody Brighton. So, yeah, they're a very um, up and down team. That's but coming back to team. Arsenal, man, um, it's it's good momentum for us going into the Europa League game we've got against Benfica We're on Friday morning here. In um, for you Aussies that are watching, is it the Champions League? Oh, and sorry. it's uh, <laughs> because you'll be you'll be playing Europa with us We're next not. season, bro. You're in sixth position yeah. at the moment, so yeah. It's look, I rather not play in Europe. Fucking do I? They're gone. <laughs> Fucking idiots. Anyway, but yeah, so yeah, we've got Benfica, massive game for us because obviously it's an avenue for us to get into the Champions League and we really need to give it a red-hot crack because there's no guarantee we are going to finish in those European positions, those European spots in the league. So, um, yeah, man, it's it's pretty good. 
and I'm hoping that we can bring that that momentum into the Benfica game. And I'll ask you a question. <laughs> Do you believe you got the team to win the Europa League? Um, I don't see why not, man. I, don't, I honestly don't see why not. Like, we do all right in cup competitions, man. We've proven that we can beat big teams, like the FA Cup run we had last year. We beat City, we beat Chelsea, um, we beat you guys in the league as well last year. So we can do it, but it just depends. It just depends what Arsenal shows up, man. Like, if we're at our best, yeah, we can beat them. We can beat any team. But it's just that consistency that's our problem, man, you know? Yeah. Am I being delusional or...? Uh, it's, anything's look. You do you do have the thing on paper. You look at it, you can say yeah maybe. But then yeah, who knows? There, there are a bit of strong teams this 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 come this year round. So it's, it's really it's a hard. It's a big, very big ask yeah. for you to win it. Very big. Yeah, but, but I'm sure we're going to go far um, in it. We we can we at least we'll get to the semis. Like at least. We're guaranteed to get in the semis, I think, man. Yeah, but if you guys, if you, if you guys don't make top four, you guys can't. You guys can't be. You, you guys can't be happy with seconds coming, going to quarterfinals or semis. You have. You'd want to win it to secure something. Oh yeah. As oh as yeah, of course. One, of one course. a trophy. The main one's a trophy, and second Champions League for the next year. Oh, 100 percent, man. I agree. Take, I was like taking into account you guys don't make the top four. Oh, like I don't think we're going to make expect... the top floor. Yeah, it's... I'll be honest with you, man. It's a, yeah, that's, that's, look, that's a big ask for you too. But again, you guys need to push. You guys need to push for both, man. You guys need to push for both. Like, oh. even I, uh, I can't really say us because we're. I don't know. Look, you're in. You're in all these. You're in these competitions. You're there to win it. You're not just there to take part. Especially the big comp the European competition. We're there to take over. Yeah, you, you, it's pretty much, man. Like you in Europe, it's it's obviously some, it's more easy compared to Champions League winning it, but um you guys need to be there's there. A you chance. guys need to go there to win it, bro. There is there there's is a chance, man. You know I'm saying you guys need there's to have a the chance. mentality believe that you guys will win it. You guys bottled it two two years ago against Chelsea. I know, I know. And then we lost against fucking Olympiacos, bro. Oh, yeah, that one, that one hurt. Just the way that game played out, the last, the second leg, it killed yeah. me, man. It tore me to shreds. <laughs> I had all these fucking Greek guys coming on my channel, <laughs> laughing at me, swearing at me in like Greek. <laughs> I got, I got like heaps Fuck of views yeah. for that my reaction video. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was, Fucking spewing, bro. Because in the dying seconds, Abamyang had a clear cut chance to score. Like he's in the six oh, yard yeah, box. I remember that. I remember that. Yeah. And he, all he had to do was put it in and we were through and he missed it, bro. I was like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> After like Abamyang scores a bicycle five minutes before that, he scores an overhead kick, bro. We're through. Then <laughs> Olympiacos go to the other end and score. Yes. And then <laughs> what a bad job. <laughs> and then a Bamiang right at the end had that chance, bro. Fuck. Fucking killed me, man. But yeah. I, I think I aged um, like five years after that game. Bro, I've aged five years. I've aged more than five years, bro. In the last couple months. <laughs> Yeah, but just bro. looking at Fuck. just look at that table and the last five is fucking pissing me off. It's really pissing me off. Yeah. Well, that's what it deserves to be. It's not looking good. That's that's what it deserves to be. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. man. I guess we'll so. Happens. But um, yeah, we just he's got to make some changes now. Like, come on, it's it's not working, man. These. I know I'm going back to it again, but he's got to make some changes now. They're like he's a sitting six, bro. He's in bad form. Th something's got to something's got to change. So, um, but you know, look at us, man. We're on 34 points. 
Like that Wolves game, that fucking VAR dickheads <laughs> fucked us, man. Honestly, they fucked us. Even the Aston Villa game, man. It's bastards, bro. Yeah. Could have been bloody close to the top four, man, after that. But it is what it is, man. You know, we should have done a bit better in those games to to win it, I guess. Put our chances away. Yeah. But yeah, so let's have a bit of a laugh here now. We got um <laughs> The Premier League Giants, West Brom against the small Man United. <laughs> One all. <laughs> Disappointing result for West Brom. They should have got the win. Yeah. Unlucky not to get the win. They dropped points bad. But <laughs> you know what, bro? West Brom were actually decent. And they had a ton of chances in the first half. Bro, like I know, but when you look at the, a bro, lot, at the, bro. A lot. But the position, it's 74 of these idiots. But then you got seven <laughs> shots to ten. Yeah. And you got three on target and seven on target for them. Fouls. Yeah. Fuck five yellow cards, man. But that's half the team out. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I would have loved to watch that game too. But I've seen the highlights. Slab edit the crossbar or the post at the end. Yeah, but, and I'm um, sure he didn't mean it too. He just closed his eyes. Fucking slab. Did you did you actually hear his comments after the game? How uh, he was blaming, <laughs> I think he was blaming he was blaming Klopp about Lit, the uh because of the, the, yeah, the risk going against him. Dickhead. But <laughs> <laughs> fuck mate, talk about clutching for straws, man. Seriously. I oh, know. And these and these idiots having to go out Klopp for Fucking making comments. Sit the fuck down. But yeah, eighty million dollar, <laughs> eighty million dollar fridge is starting to flap his gums. He's embarrassing himself. Dickhead. Fuck that guy's shit, man. Honestly, what a waste of money, man. That guy. But I, honestly, I'd what? rather fall for every game than have him in my team. Bro, the guy has just—he's gonna have a massive highlight reel of just comedic <laughs> errors he's making man honestly yeah, like it's, it's building up him and phil jones are having a race you know if i feel phil jones bro, at least phil jones the only thing that phil jones has on him you know when i think he tripped and stuck his head out oh, i forgot who it was against when it was on the floor it was a good i, I gotta admit that was a good effort oh how he tried That's to the, yeah yeah hit it away his head. he just hit his fucking big stuck his big head in the way <laughs> Speaking but, of that, uh, did you see the Tottenham game? Uh, no, Davison Sanchez, no. he tried to do the same thing. He tried to stop the ball off his face against Man City. <laughs> you see him? Oh, right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> bro, Edison, Edison, the uh, City's keeper, put a mad through ball in. For some reason, Gundogan was playing striker. Gundogan yeah. gets the ball, does a fake shot with his right foot and puts it to his yeah. left. And um, yeah. Sanchez... Gets wrong footed, he falls over. And as um Gundawan hits it with his left foot, Sanchez dives with his face and tries to like block the shot, but just yeah. smacks the ground. Like it's it's a meme. It's all over the internet. I don't know how you haven't seen it yet, bro. <laughs> it's fucking so funny, bro. Especially coming oh, from up, Spurs. Bro? It's like it's fucking golden, man. It's so good. I'll watch it after this. Fuck, I've got to see that, man. Bro. It's fucking legendary yeah. stuff, man. I'll tell you that. But um, yeah, going back to the Man United game, it is seven hundred. I draw thousand. against. Look, uh, bro, I draw against fucking last position. Uh, there were supposed to be title challenges like a couple of weeks ago. People were talking about these guys possibly challenging City mm -hmm. and winning the league. You'd have to be deluded. And then they that. go out and, and then you know as soon as they do that, they go out and draw against these guys and they're putting crap performances. So. You know, they're bottling it again. Ollie's not at the wheel. And if he is, he's at the wheel of a fucking piece of shit bus or whatever. And um, <laughs> I'm going all in today, bro. Fuck it. I feel good. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Beating West Brom's not for everyone, you know? That goes to you too, bro. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> making top four is not for everyone either. Oh... Uh... <laughs> Fucking your sixth card, your sixth. For now. For now. We'll see what Hopefully happens. Forever. 
We'll see what happens, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough about Man United. They're they relevant. Suck. And to be honest, I don't even know if they're going to make the top four, man. Like, all right, they're sitting in a good position now, 42 points. Equal with Leicester City, but that could change easily, man. They've got a lot of teams below them that are that could possibly overtake them. So there's not much in it. Uh, we'll go to Chelsea. They beat Newcastle. And my God, Newcastle are bad, man. Jesus. They could get relegated, yeah, bro. bro. They're, they're, they're laughable. Well, again, they you are got, shocking, you got, man. You got, you got the man, Steve Bruce, <laughs> as, as coach. You can't expect much, bro. And I, feel, I do feel sorry for their fans. So, unfortunately, there's. Mike Ashley is a fucking spastic dickhead. Doesn't want to invest. Yeah. He, again, they got they got rid of a good thing. Um, Benitez brought in the pub junkie, <laughs> and that's what happens. It's Man, Benitez sad, actually yeah. left. Benitez left because he um he wanted the owner to show back. more ambition. Wasn't back. Wasn't yeah, back. he wanted to get backed. And he could have um, actually done something really good there, man. Like he, he actually looked like he loved the club, and he he did what he could, man. Like with what he had. Well, yeah, exactly. That's and right. Now it's just like it's sad to watch. They got Callum Wilson's injured, and now they got nothing up front, man. They just, you know, Chelsea were cruising, and you know, even Werner got a goal. Jesus. Like, no, far, there is a god. Far, far out. <laughs> uh, there's nothing much else to say about this, but you know, if you want to talk about Chelsea's form, you know, they got the new manager, Tuchel or Tuchel, whatever you want to call him. And it looks like, you know, he's changed the formation up. They're playing like that 3 5 2 or whatever. And um, they're looking better. They're looking better. They've got some confidence now. Yeah. But then again, they got wins over. Bottom teams, bottom of the half teams, and um, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see what happens, man. Because usually with Chelsea, they get that new manager bounce, and then um, things will settle in. But they're in the top four now, you know, and then they've got I yeah. think five clean sheets out of their last six games or whatever. So they could, they could even finish second, man. These guys. What do you reckon? It's looking, it's looking that way, but I don't know. It's it's still too, still too early, man. I thought, th yeah, I think they'll finish top four. Definitely, they'll finish top four. I can uh, potentially finish third. I can third, maybe even second. I don't know. Mm. Third, yeah, I can. I can finish third. Yeah, this but this. Them coming back a bit has changed. <laughs> it's completely changed my view on top four now. Yeah, man. Like last week, even like the last show, I was th saying like, you know, Liverpool can still turn this around and finish second. Nah, and bro. Then, nah. And then forget it. You know, I didn't even think Chelsea would even get close to the top four right now. But within a week, they're back up there. Um, and then we go to Everton. You know, Everton was doing all right, and then. They lose 2 0 against bloody um, Fulham. And it's just a crazy season, man. Like, you cannot, we can't determine what's going on at all. Like, it's crazy, bro. You know, the Everton game, I think, who did Everton play before this? Was it, um, was it Spurs or? Yeah, it was Spurs in the FA Cup. FA Cup. Okay, that explains it. So Everton beat Tottenham in the FA Cup 5-4. That went all the way to the second half of extra time, obviously. And then a few days later, they had to play um, Fulham. So Fulham, that kind of explains why Fulham were all over them. And they actually beat them 2-0. Like, it was a convincing win as well. Like, Fulham absolutely outplayed them. They had the more chances, the more shots. Um. They edged the possession, but it was pretty even in possession. But, yeah, I think Hamas went off injured too. They got no Dominic Calvert-Lewin. 
And yeah, they're looking vulnerable as well, man. Yeah, Hamas. <laughs> he seems to get injured. He's going to become injury prone again. He's been like that for ages too. Mm. So it's, it's a good buy, but. Is it a good buy? <laughs> I, I don't know, man. The Premier League. The Premier League is a tough league, bro. It's physical. Yeah, it is. It's you got to fucking be. You got to be tough to play in it, man. And um, you know what, Everton, they're they're taking strides forward, but you know, if you look at them last season till now, they're they're much better side. Yeah. So I guess they can look at this season as you know a stepping stone and. They can build to get better because it looks like it looks like they're getting backed by their owners as well. You know, they brought in some pretty good recruitment, some recruits this season. Yeah, there's the current so, seven. Um, <laughs> they're under us by three points. Mm, but they've got two games in hand as well, if you look at that. Yeah. You know, so they've got the potential to crack the top four if they win. But who knows, man? Who knows? Like I said, they make a top four. They're too they're way too inconsistent. Yeah. Man City Tottenham. It's too good, mate. They're too good. What what can I say about Man City, bro? They're just they're on another level now. They're fucking good. Oh, what is that? Too. Is that 15, 15 games in a row they won, man? It's fucking insane, bro. Well, that's what happens when you got unlimited money. <laughs> but but yeah, they're, they're, they, they're good, but they, they recruit smart. They bring in some... It's not Again, like they spend $100 million on players, bro. They just buy a lot of... Do you know how much the whole team is worth? <laughs> yeah, I know. They buy like 10 players worth $60 million <laughs> yeah. in one go. But yeah, that... Like bro, I've been saying for the last two months, they're winning it. Just not, and the rest, and everyone under them is making up numbers in the top four. That's it. And it fucking yeah. pains me to say it. So, titles fucking serious, you know, bro. You know they've they've won it for sure, but you know they're playing us on Monday. I'll bet you. Please, please take it easy on us, Pep. I beg you. <laughs> You're good mates of Arteta. Just uh, let us have this one. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised you if you guys what? put one over him somehow. It's but that's, possible, man. It's possible. Because look, look, they're playing Everton, right? The title's pretty much theirs. So they've got a big Champions League game coming up after us. So they could possibly rest plays, but even the players they're going to bring in, their second string team, would probably fucking beat our first team, bro. That's how good they are. So I don't know. <laughs> 18, 19, 20, 20, 20. Yeah, so they got three games in seven in one week. Yeah. Let's okay. Let's just count four in a week. Four games. But then they got the fucking depth. they got the depth to fucking cover for everything. So that's the thing, man. Like their back line is covered. They've got countless defenders, countless centre backs just waiting to play. Like Laporte's not even playing now, and he's like, well, yeah, he's not world class, but he's elite. He's elite. He's a very good centre back. And. Jeez, their bench is just unreal. They got Mares just sitting there doing nothing. You know, like Sterling plays when he wants. They got Gabriel Jesus. Gundogan's doing bits now. Like Bernardo Silva. Fernandinho's not even playing. Uh, like I get, I get the press like just it's, hearing it's that. It's endless, bro. You know, like Cancelo, Kyle Walker. Far out, bro. Again. And then like so the drop off from our money first game. Yeah. But their their club is run really well, man. You know, and they they've got ambition, which is good. So, 
Okay, they can obviously we can all see that they can win the Premier League. That's obvious, but can they win the Champions League this year? I think they can. I think this year they can do it, bro. Honestly, I don't see why they can't. Like, all right, if you look in history, they've bottled it like big time, but they look like a different side now, man. They really do. Yeah. They're on a red hot streak at the moment. They look unbeatable. Like they're slapping every team up. Like I think they can do it, man. Unless they get like I hope not. Oh, I don't know. And they're still in every cup competition too. They're in the uh Carabao Cup final. They're still in the FA Cup. They can win the league. That's a treble there. And then they can do the quadruple if they win um Champions League. Imagine that. And imagine them winning the World Club World Cup. I'll delete social media. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't really know any City fans for them to like banter us. But Bro, like, if you guys, they, if they, you they guys have one that or United, I'd, I'd fucking hate life. But if City do it, I don't care. It doesn't bother me. Bro, I know I've got like two mess that go for him. One of them doesn't watch their fucking games. Plastic prick. He gives shit. To, he gives shit to me about Liverpool. I go, bro, wake up to your, wake up for your team's games. He's like, no, fuck, that's too early. I go, well, then you're a plastic piece of shit. I go, you're not a supporter, so that's not flapping your gums, dickhead. <laughs> so where, I when hate, did he start supporting him? Like him what, I don't, know. He's, he's got a, I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know. He's got an old jacket, like an old city jacket. Does he? Did he buy from yeah, eBay or something? Old. Oh, I don't know who fucking knows. Regardless, when he's supporting Ray's plastic, he doesn't watch. If you don't watch your team's games, well, then... And he openly says no yeah, like, because it's too early. Fuck off, idiot. Hmm. You're not a supporter, bro. It is, it is but, early, but like bro, those three thirty AM games for, kill me, man. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, it kills us. But we, bro, we still wake up for it. I know. And we're depressed. We're Fucking... depressed most of the time. We're depressed day for the whole day, but we still wake up and watch it. <laughs> yeah, it's true. If only the fucking English Premier League can work something out of these times, man. Make it a bit. Easier for us Aussies here. But they're not going to give a shit. They make yeah, the money from up to sport anyway, so. They know we're, we're suckers. They know we're still going to yeah, watch yeah. it. Yeah. They're not going to care for it. The Aussie idiots. So, and they shouldn't, yeah. to be honest, bro. I'd like them to, but they shouldn't. They shouldn't need to. Otherwise, if, you, if yeah, they're going to do that, they're going to have to cater for... Well, then again, for America, it's what, afternoon for them, isn't it? Or morning or something. Fuck everyone else, bro. Just help the Aussies out, you know? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tottenham, man. Fuck. What's happening? Best standard, Mourinho, bitch. bro. He's, Mourinho is done. He's finished, man. He was done six years ago. After he got sacked from Chelsea, he's done, man. He's done nothing. Yeah. And he's... It's good to see, obviously, you know, as a as a rival, but they're playing some disgusting football, man. It's like hard to watch. I enjoy it because they lose, but imagine being there like a fan of them, man. It's disgusting. They can't play football. They can't defend. They can't do anything. They're getting slapped up by everyone. They park the bus against relegation sides. Like it's yeah. And I think he signed like a three-year deal with him worth like 15 million pounds a year. So he's not going to get the sack this season for sure. They're going to give him another year. <laughs> um, well, you have to, man. You'd have to. But you, but you need to give a coach time. This is the problem with clubs. It's not like he's, it's like he's dragging him to fucking mid-table. <laughs> bro, they're, like, bro, they're close. But, they're but, close. But, but Tottenham have always been, have always been a mediocre t- club. Other than the other than when Poch was there, I still think that was the wrong sacking. But anyway, that's how's that's their happened. their ninth, bro. Ninth, bro. One win that can jump up to seventh. I was depending what Aston Villa, Everton do. Like the points are close, man. It's it's not over for them yet. But they still they need a they need a pick up like from this next game if they want to mm. consider making top four. 
Yeah, I, I understand that, but bro, their drop off has been dramatic because, like, they were first probably three weeks ago. They were top of the league. They were talking about Tottenham being title challengers, and they're sitting in ninth position now. Like, it's it's concerning if you're a Spurs fan. It's very concerning. And you know, if you want to give your manager time, I understand. But if your team was doing well and then they're doing worse now, how can you give time for someone that's doing worse? Well, you need to keep swapping. You can't, then, just keep, you can't just keep swapping coaches, man. Like, this is the problem with clubs. Like, look, they're and, so, you know, posh, Mourinho, so stupid. Mourinho is toxic, bro. He he actually like publicly outs pay, players and. He has fights with him, like Deli Ali, and now he's yeah, talking Deli shit Ali, about that. We are not. I don't know, man. The guy's right. The guy's not there to fucking look after kids, bro. They, they're fucking adults, man. Yeah, but you got to keep, keep the team harmony. you got to keep these players happy, bro, and that's where your man management comes in. Yeah. You know, you can't just be a hard ass coach these days where, you know, like back in the day. You have to, bro. You, I don't give a fucking, fuck. you, you scream at them and then they listen. These days, they don't, man. So you got to try different methods and it looks like it's not working for Mourinho. Welcome to the world of snowflakes. <laughs> yeah, true, man. Um, just before we wrap up, bro, we'll have a quick discussion about West Ham. I think they deserve a bit of recognition. With the way they've been playing this season, with the way yeah. um, Moyes has turned it around, man. These guys were fighting relegation last season, and now they're like, they actually hit the top four this morning. That can make Liverpool out of there. And if it wasn't for Chelsea, they'd be in the top four right now. So, um, what a season the it iron, is from West Ham, yeah. man. Right, the Iron Europe, they are. Like, I'm, I think I'm shocked. I, they brought him boys. I'm like, nah, he's not gonna do shit. But fuck, is you know, credit to him, man. He's doing good. I'm very surprised. They're playing a lot better. They look more confident. Um, passing the ball. I'm impressed with the way they pass the ball now. But like, mm. I know they're sh- I know it's Sheffield, which is, they're pretty much guaranteed a relegation, which is sad to say they did so well last year. Um. But even like even when we look at the stats here, man, it's the score doesn't do justice for Sheffield anyway. Yeah, so but it's... you know, West Ham they're that they're a counter attacking side, bro. They sit deep and hit you on the counter. And um they're doing a really good job at it at the moment. But how many games have we got left? Twelve, thirteen. So they could drop off. Like Southampton have, you know, Southampton were red hot just a few weeks ago. I think five, six weeks ago. Yeah, now they're just they're in the mud yeah. themselves. So, but either way, man, it's progress for West Ham. They've beaten some big teams, and they're you know three quarters through the season, and they're just out of the top four at the moment. So, hats off to them. I hope Jean Pierre's happy. I hope he's watching the games since he's a West Ham fan. <laughs> oh, is he? It's probably the only season they're going to do well, so you might as well, man. <laughs> Just to do better than your team. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> well, is, you know, their yeah, best I'm, ever... I'm impressed. West Ham's best ever position they finished was third. They've never finished... They've never Any won higher, the title. Yeah. Yeah, so like, fuck, they're in fifth position now, man. It's very good. I think oh, no, they played all their games, so yeah, man. They, bro, it's, they can move up, yeah. Like I said, the equal points of Chelsea just by like, goal difference, they're fifth, yeah. Um, but yeah, man, they're looking very confident. But whether they'll make top four, I don't think so. I can't see yeah. them make a top four. It's a very big ask. <laughs> but then again, yeah, it's, oh, that could yeah I don't well. know if they'll make the top four. Maybe if they don't get any injuries and stuff, they could. 
But as soon as they get a couple of injuries, man, it's teams like that. They've got no depth, so it makes a massive difference for them. Look at that, man. Three fucking fuck, bro. Change the screen. It's pissing me off. <laughs> get oh, used to man. it, brother. Get used to it. The glory days are over. That's <laughs> looking that Time way. Time to be humbled. Time to be humbled, bro. It's not six times been, anymore. It's six positions. I've always been humble. I've always been humble. Yeah, you're right, but you know, some of the boys on bro, I know some those groups bro, that we're in on bro. Facebook. <laughs> bit of humble pie. Bit of humble pie for them. Bro, bit too much one, humble pie, I think. Bro, trust me, those boys are nothing competitive. One of these blokes I know. Bro. But anyway. I might, I, might add him to the, I, might, bro, I might add him to the chat. Just fucking, bro, what's that page's light on fire? Bro, that page will... <laughs> bro, it'll... Fuck. That's what happens when you're a fan, man. Like, you got to just sit back, enjoy the ride, but don't go too hard on other teams because yeah. it's going to bite you in bro, the that... ass. Nothing lasts no. forever, man. What goes yeah. up must come down. And at the moment, yeah. Liverpool bro. is... You gotta, be consi- you gotta be consistent. You can't just have one flu season of go back to what you wore fucking seven years ago. Yeah. But like I know we've got injuries and stuff, but I don't know. We're doing all right up until again after Palace, so it's just not good enough. I'm just sick of saying it every week, every week, every week. <laughs> But as I was saying, this bloke, when we were sitting yeah, up at the top in the, earlier. Wipe the tears away, it, brother. Yeah. Right. There's no tears, bro. I just need ice. Fucking get on the <laughs> fucking ice, bro. Fucking hell. Numb the pain. <laughs> fucking numb the pain, bro. Uh, yeah, one of the blokes, because we, we were sitting first at one point. I think for like, what was it? Five, seven points, whatever it was. Mm. Saying that we're going to run away with the league. I'm like, you. I'm like, he's he's that he's that type of supporter. Was this um, just, after Van Dyke got injured, and then you guys were on a bit of a run uh, after that? Was that when he said it? Um, yeah, it was around that time. But he's, he he he'll get under anyone's skin. That's how he is. He just talks. He just talks. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna add to this fucking chat and sit into our group, and he'll but he but it'll be a it'll be a melt. The whole page will go into turmoil. Massive meltdown when he comes, if he comes. Because at one stage, bro, one stage, man, you know, you guys are still winning when Van Dyke got injured. Oh, we don't need Van Dyke. Who needs Van Dyke? We're still good. We're not a one man team. And then now, oh, we got no center backs. We need Van Dyke. Honestly, even if he did come, I don't think it would change much the way these things are. Because we're not playing, bro. It's just attack, man. That's the fucking problem. They're not. They're doing fuck all. If we had put it's half our chances away, too. if we had put our half our chances away, I reckon we would be in top four. Mm. Like we wouldn't be really discussing what we're discussing right now. If there's three monkeys up front, we'll do something. But they can't. Ooh. And I'm over it, bro. It's 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 getting anyway, my last hit. We'll wrap it up. What do you reckon? Yeah, I just get depressed. I'll go cry a bit more later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy, bro. I'm happy. You know, my team's been consistently for now, for... shit for a while, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll wrap it up, man. Yeah, bro. Yeah. It was a pretty, pretty decent podcast today. I'd like to thank Chris for not coming on. Fucking all talk, all talk, bro. But uh, no, nah, it's all good, man. Probably busy. Make sure you come on next time. We're probably going to do another show on Friday, Friday night, if um, OMS is available. And we try to get a couple other guys on there as well. And yeah, guys, um, like I said before, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new as well. And yeah, we'll see you guys on Friday. Have a good one.